getting off to a flying start as the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. I'm excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Denmark against England. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Andreas Christensen starts alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Christian Eriksen starts alongside Pierre Emil Huyvier in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Trying to deliver it accurately. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, they can bring it out now. And England have it back now. Must be an early goal. It is the ideal opening. Here you can see it again. He's gone for placement over power, and it's a brilliant finish. So underway again here. One nil the score. Javier. Ba. Here's Nurgard. Christian Eriksen now. Alexander Ba. Oh, great attacking play. Sends it back. He's blocked it. <laughs> and over from Ericsson. Managed to get it out of there. A smart stop here. Trippier. Mark Guehi. Walker. And now Stones. Declan Rice. Phil Foden now. Rice with it. Foden. Harry Kane. Off the post. Bellingham. Well, showing a willingness at least to take it on. Yeah, but I'm not sure that was the right option. It's way off target as well. Vestergaard. Christian Eriksen now. He'll take it away. He won the ball. Trippier. Rice with it. Trippier now. Phil Foden. Now with Alexander Arnold. 
Walker. Trent Alexander-Arnold. At times they make passing look easy. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Stones. Walker now. Alexander-Arnold. Foden. Rice with it. And the danger still on. And Bellingham. Magnificent defending. Mele. Might really be able to trouble them here. Will he play it in? Poitier. And a very good challenge. Well, as you can see, England have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes. Creating lots of chances now, and you think if they do get another, it's going to be tough for the opposition to find a way back into this. And dribbling with it, but out of play. Foden. Guehi. Well, a bit wasteful from England. Chance for the leveller. That is a tackle and a half. Foden. And space to cross it. And the corner kick it is. What can they do with this one? So they look for inspiration. Let's see about the delivery, and clearing it away. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Christian Eriksen now. And Kane comes into the move. Good-looking attack, this. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Vestergaard. Kea has it. Christensen. Christian Nurgaard. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. He cuts it back. That is a very fine challenge in difficult... This could be the equaliser. Oh, my word. There's excellent timing for you. What a challenge. Disappointing for England to give it away in that manner. Alexander-Arnold. Promising-looking ball. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal.
So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Stones. Trippier now. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Foden. Trippier. On to Alexander Arnold. Takes the shot. And he read it really well. Fine save. Trying to pick out a teammate. Danger still on. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And he's through here. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Yeah, he's done OK in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. So back underway here, advantage England after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Into the centre from Walker, and a simple clearance, a good one. Christian Nurgard. And the ball with Christensen. Jonas Vint. Christian Eriksen now. Well, no stopping him. And let's give credit to the defending. England using width to good effect here. Good ball over the top. and not giving the opposition much of a look-in. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And the finish from Kane is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Fabier. Christian Eriksen now. Mele. Smuggled away. Declan Rice. Mark Guehi. And the ball with Pickford. And with the advantage, no reason why you shouldn't play keep ball. Kane. And now Stones. Trippier. Declan Rice. Foden. Gives it a go. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations.
Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And the finish from Foden shows what a good technical player he is. It's an excellent goal. So underway again, and England really beginning to run away with this now. The scoreline threatening to get ugly here. Vestergaard. Mele. On the ball, Yannick Vestergaard. Trippier now. So a half an hour remaining. Jude Bellingham. Trippier. Stones. Now with Alexander Arnold. Oh, great attacking play. Ericsson. Mele and Hoybier with it and that is how to beat your opponent Ericsson well the keeper reacted magnificently and with play stopped they will make the change now And taken short. Alexander Ba. Ericsson. The fans want to see a shot. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Kick taken by Christian Eriksen, and he succeeds in scraping it off the line. Chance maybe to use the counter-attacking ability to good effect. Just the challenge that was required. Skov Olsen. Rasmus Hoylun. Strong play here. Is it going to be? And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. The current scoreline, 4-2. Guehi. Walker now. Alexander-Arnold. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Declan Rice. And Bellingham. Mark Guehi. And the ball with Pickford. And the keeper not thinking it through. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Christensen. On the ball, Yannick Vestergaard. A quarter of an hour remaining here. And continues his run. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. So, making the substitution now. Yeah. 
And fired from the flank into the area. Keeper did his job to begin with. That'll be a Denmark ball. Skov Olsen. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Bellingham. And England being afforded too much space. Into the centre from Walker. And snuffed out the danger immediately. Skov Olsen. time tackle could reduce the deficit in it goes but wait a minute that will not count well that was tight but he was just offside it was a good finish though Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Now in a more than decent position. Pabier. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. A very good tackle. That's a good-looking ball. Could be in. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And once he gets onto it, there's only going to be one outcome. It's a lovely goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Skov Olsen. Kea has it. Anderson. On to Paulson. Oh, might be. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Declan Rice. Phil Foden now. Given away by England. Anderson. Paulson. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Kea. And Hoybier with it. And the final whistle is sounded. England victorious. Plenty of plus points, and Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances, we saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.